In this video presentation, we're going to cover how to check your datasheet links. They could be uh, HTTP web links or your um, server PDF file links to make sure that your, all your PDF files are there. Maybe you deleted a file and we're going to go ahead and make sure that we're going to check it and see if it's all there. So open up a library by selecting the icon to the left of the word library. And we're going to open it up again because we're not opening up any footprints right here. We're going to check the data sheets. Now, in order to use this feature, you have to select the rows that you want to check. So the data sheet links are way over here at the end of the FPX file, right here. All of these right here. And so we're going to go ahead and check those data sheet links for accuracy because sometimes the manufacturer will obsolete a part and they'll take down the datasheet link. And if that happens, or, or maybe uh, two manufacturers merge together, like Texas Instruments Acquisition National Instruments, and we have National Instruments, now all of a sudden TI changed all the datasheet links to their website. A lot of times the manufacturers, when they merge together, they redirect the datasheet link, but we're gonna go ahead and find out which ones are broke and which ones are still good. In order to check a datasheet link, you have to highlight the row of the datasheet link that you want to check. You could check one row, or you could just select multiple rows, or you can select the entire FPX file. For the speed purposes, we're just going to go ahead and select the first seven rows, and then we're going to run utilities, and we're going to run the check datasheet link on these rows checking and sometimes the internet might be slow so you might want to do this when you're out to lunch or you go you know run this run this file if you have like 2,000 rows in your FPX file and you run the datasheet link it might take a little while to do that you might want to run that overnight when you're when you go home at the end of the day but this is really important because if you found a broken datasheet link that might mean that this particular packages, this part number is obsolete, and you want to make sure that all the part numbers in your library are active. In this particular case here, I got a notification that all the links check out okay. I'm just going to go ahead and close that menu down and close this down, and that is how you check your datasheet links. Select the row or rows and run utilities, check the datasheet link. Simplify, standardize, and automate an entire IPC and IEC compliant library. Detailed, accurate, reliable, professional. Highest quality footprints and 3D step models. Clicks away. Many companies worldwide are easily generating their CAD libraries. You should too. Get a fully functional footprint expert evaluation license for any CAD format and demo today. Contact us at pcblibraries.com or call 847-557-2300.